I believe you haven't overcome Christmas spirit yet. So this morning is also part of the, the nativity. Now when Herod was dead, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt, saying, Arise, take the young child and his mother, and go to the land of Israel. For those who sought the young child's life are dead. Then he arose, took the young child and his mother, and came into the land of Israel. But when he heard that Archelaus was reigning over Judea instead of his father Herod, he was afraid to go there. And being warned by God in a dream, he turned aside into the region of Galilee. And he came and dwelt in a city called Nazareth, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophets, he shall be called a Nazarene. Amen. We often call Jesus the Lord, Jesus of Nazareth. It is the same as we call John of Etobicoke. But we have too many Johns in Etobicoke. We call maybe John of Olivet. We still have many at Olivet. Because the Lord spent his early childhood, maybe his uh, early adulthood in Nazareth, the Lord earned the name. But actually, as we read from the chapter 2 of the Gospel of Matthew, it was a prophecy. The Lord shall be called a Nazarene, a Nazarite. And all this thing happened even though the Lord was in Bethlehem. We know that he had to go down, Joseph and Mary had to go down to Bethlehem to be registered. And Mary had to give birth to the child. So baby Jesus was born in Bethlehem. But Joseph was uh, divinely warned in his dream. An angel appeared and told him, Now uh, Herod is a seeking for... A uh, terrible thing against the child. So you need to take the child and Mary. You need to flee to Egypt. And I will bring you a word when you can be coming back safely. So they had to go down to Egypt to save the child's life. And they spent there maybe a few years. And then again, an angel of the Lord appeared in Joseph's dream and gave him words. Now you can go back to land of Israel because Herod died. But also divinely warned that he should not go back to Judea or Bethlehem or Jerusalem. So he chose to go to Nazareth in the province of Galilee. So the Lord spent his early childhood and boyhood perhaps in Nazareth, and he became later a carpenter there. And suddenly, we don't have much information after that in all the Gospels. The Lord appeared at the synagogue at age 12, and he was talking, asking, answering questions with rabbis and doctors there. And we don't have any account about the Lord. And suddenly the Lord began his public ministry at age 30. So we think if we have more information about the Lord, perhaps we can understand the Lord better. Perhaps we can understand and love the Lord more. But somehow that was not the case. If we read another chapter in Matthew, we will see later, chapter 13, the people of Nazareth watched Jesus growing with other siblings and 
friends, and they knew very well his whole family. Perhaps the people of Nazareth uh, had uh, too much information what the Lord liked to eat, his favorite dishes, his favorite games, or his character. And when the people had uh, too much information and very clear ideas about the Lord, they could not think of the Lord differently. They just thought Jesus is one of maybe a special child, but they could not acknowledge him as the promised Christ and Messiah. And what's the problem when they could not change their understanding and their uh, information about the Lord? The Lord could not do wonderful things in his hometown. We know that the Lord had amazing wisdom to teach, to give the people great ideas, which never heard before. And the Lord had a strong power to heal the sick. Even he raised the dead. But the Lord couldn't do these wonderful things in Nazareth because people were not ready to receive that and they were not yet ready to receive the Lord's wisdom. So the Lord's power was limited by their unbelief. And perhaps that's the reason uh, the Lord didn't want to give us too much information about his growing. So we know that he was born in Bethlehem, and he grew up in Nazareth, and then he began his public ministry And he did wonderful miracles. And he gave great wisdom of teachings to the people. In this way, the Lord could save those many people on earth. We don't have full information about the Lord. And that might be helpful to think the Lord, he was not a normal human being. He was not just one of those children who grew up and played on the street of Nazareth, but he was the promised Savior, the promised Christ. So we need to lift up our understanding and we need to worship the Lord. Now in our new church, only one God in heaven and earth. And the Lord can do many wonderful things for us. Amen.